Hi, I'm Carl with Prices Alarms Tech Support. Today we're going to be walking through retrieving video footage from an NVR, True Vision. We're going to do it right from the unit itself and store this down on a USB stick. Let's get to it. Before retrieving video footage from the NVR, the first thing we need to do is plug in a USB flash drive into the front of it here. Then we have a place to store the video footage to and we are ready to archive it. So now that we have the USB flash drive plugged into the front of the NVR, we're going to go ahead here and retrieve the video footage that we're after. Now we've been told that a small red safe was taken from the top of a desktop and, uh, and we're told that it was around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're going to grab a little bit before that and, and a little bit after that. We're going to see what we can find and then we can take that clip and archive it down onto that USB stick we plugged in earlier. So we're going to go ahead here we're going to right click and we're going to select search video. Now at this point you'll often be asked for uh, entering in your password. Go ahead and enter in your password. Uh, and then uh, go ahead and note OK. Now we are interested only in the camera uh, D1. We don't need D2 or D3. They're, they don't have any video footage that we're interested in finding. So we're just going to focus on the one there. Um, the day we're looking for was on the 24th, as we're told. And we're going to set the time here. We're going to go a little bit before 3 o'clock, um, which is going to be uh, let's see, 1400 hours. We're going to go about 15 minutes before 3 o'clock here. I'm going to go about there. Uh, and that's that. And we don't need to grab the next couple of days, so we're just going to grab uh, on the same day. We're going to go uh, ahead, say, about 15 minutes after 3, which is going to put us at 1515. Uh, uh, let's skip up this way. And there we go. Uh, and then we're going to hit go and this will grab our video footage and immediately it's going to start playing it back uh, from here uh, we can see down on the bottom right here we have the the time uh, stamp of, uh, of what point we are within the video now along this scroll bar here it's very difficult to see but there's this little button here uh, that we can then use to drag along you can see that we have a gentleman bringing in a in a silver case. This is the red safe. We're looking to see when it disappears. Let me just go ahead here and grab the uh, scroll bar and we can just move this along and skip the video ahead anywhere or back that we need to find the point of interest. Now one thing to note here is along here we have these controls. Uh, these ones will speed it up and as I click this you'll see that we hit the two times, four times and eight times. Uh, we can click appropriately to the back and reduce our back to the normal playback mode. And these will skip to the end of the video segment and this will skip to the beginning of the video segment. This will pause it, this will stop our playback and this right here will play it in reverse. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead here uh, and I'll point out here this is what we're going to be hitting. When we get to the point that we're looking at to clip out the video we're going to select this icon to start the clipping and once we've finished the part that we're after uh, we will click that same icon again to stop the clipping. Let's go ahead here and see if we can advance this up and find out when this red safe goes away. Well, it's still there. Let's drag this along. Oh, we've got something obscuring it. And we'll move this along here. And let's look about there. Red safe is still there. Move it up there. Oh, it just disappeared. So we're going to back this up a little bit. And the red safe is there. We're going to start the clip here. And we'll let that play out. We'll see when this uh, red safe goes away. Um, uh, oh, we see a gentleman come in and he's removed that red safe. We'll let that play for a few seconds afterwards and we're going to stop the clip about there. Now when we stop the playback, that's when we're going to have the option to save the clip that we just took. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, we're going to save it. It's going to bring up our saving screen here. Uh, from here, this is on the. Um, you know, this is the clip that we've only got one clip. This is the clip that we're going to save. We're going to say that we're going to archive this. We select archive. This brings up the actual USB stick, uh, which shows that we've got lots of room on it. We're going to go ahead and include the player with this video that's going to be stored down on the USB drive uh, because it uses a unique format to uh, True Vision. Uh, and it uses its own standalone player to play it back. There are other programs that can play back the video file such as VLC, but Windows Media Player and such will not be able to play it back. So if you're going to be providing this video to, say, the police, make sure you include the player along with the video that you're, you're needing to capture to give to them. 
I'm going to go ahead here and uh, select archive. And it's going to save that down on the flash drive. And there we are. The video footage is now on the drive. We can go ahead and exit out of here and go back into uh, exit one more time. And we'll be back into the live view. And now that video footage is ready to be handed off uh, to whoever needs to uh, be reviewing it. And that concludes our retrieval of video footage from an NVR, uh, True Vision, and storing it down onto a flash drive. Once again, I'm Carl from Prices Alarms. Please stay tuned for any of the other videos that we have to help you with various video stuff and CCTV retrievals. We are available Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5. Uh, please feel free to give us a call. We'll help you uh, however way we can. See you next time.